Hey everyone, welcome to Canva tutorial and in this video we are going to understand how you can design amazing Facebook cover photo within Canva. So I'm on the Canva free account and we'll understand how you can utilize the Canva free account to design amazing Facebook cover photo. Now Facebook cover photo is little tricky to create so I'll start step by step with the dimensions that you can use to make sure that the design that you do for your Facebook cover page is suitable enough to show everything on the desktop as well as on the mobile version of the Facebook. So I'll show you my previous page. For example, this is how the previous cover photo is and mostly right and left gets cut into the mobile version. So it's just the centerpiece that's mostly visible. Uh, so this is not very good looking. So we'll redesign this and see how you are going to do this within Canva. So let's understand step by step. So within Canva to create anything, you simply go ahead and click on create or you can see the shortcuts here at the bottom as well. So we can simply go ahead and say, for example, see all social media, right? Because Facebook page is social media. So it will open this create a design page and at the top you'll see Facebook. So this might change the look and feel might change within Canva, but overall more or less in terms of designing steps that I'm going to cover will remain same. So if I click on Facebook, you'll see all the popular Facebook versions or Facebook designs that you can create for example Facebook post or Facebook cover and then you have Facebook ad event cover Facebook video story so I don't see the Facebook yeah Facebook cover is here but that's animated so let me just search for Facebook here so you'll see it has filtered all the Facebook related so you'll see this is the one Facebook post which is landscape post and then cover right so this is Facebook cover landscape so we'll select this one and then you'll see the dimension. Let's select this and we'll update. So the first thing that you'll see is as soon as I have selected the Facebook cover, this looks pretty wide and that's why because this design was done something similar, then you see that this is not as wide or this photo or the cover photo should not be as wide as it's shown. So what we'll do is we'll resize it. Okay, so resizing is the premium feature. So if you do not have the premium or the upgraded Canva version, we'll start fresh, right? So we'll say, okay, we'll go to the create design again and instead of using, so you'll see the size of this is if we go back in the design. So if we go to social media and search for Facebook, so we don't want that much wide. So we'll say 1640 by 924 pixels. So we'll reduce that height to 720 pixel. So that is what a recommended size is for you to design better. So it's visible on desktop and mobile version both. So we'll create completely new design. So here we'll say create and then we'll say custom size, right? So custom size is available for free. So we'll say 16. 40 and height will keep it as 720 instead of the recommended which is 924 and then we'll say make sure you keep this in pixels px and then create a new design let me close this tab so this is more wider and now we'll go ahead and start designing the cover page now in order to design the cover page so that you can have visibility on the mobile and desktop both there are certain spots in the right and left that we have to make sure or how many pixels we have to make sure that we cut those through and then design into the safe area of this page so let me go ahead and if you go to the design you will see the predefined templates already there that you can use now anything with the crown is the paid but then you have the free options as well but then the idea here is to understand those areas where which is the safe area wherein you can go ahead and design and have your Facebook page prepared all right so let me close this and we'll go to the elements and then here let me search for the rectangle so we'll search for the shape and we have the rectangle. So what we'll do is I just want to explain how much in the left and right we have to leave. So that is the safe area for us. 
to play around and have our cover photo designed. So if you select this and what we'll do is we'll have the grids available. So go to the file and then go to settings and then we'll select show rulers and guides and will show me the rulers and guide. Now 180 pixels in the left and 180 pixels in the right is the area which will only be shown on the Facebook desktop version. Okay, so let's measure that 180 pixel. Let me maximize it or zoom out and then we'll resize this to 180. At the moment, it's 205, I believe. So this is 150 and then 60, 70, 80. So this looks little. Let me zoom out a bit more. So we know that this is actually 180. So we are at 100. This is 180, right? So we are at 180 because this is 190 and then 200. So this is the area that will only be visible on the desktop in the left and then let's duplicate it and move it to the right as well okay so now we know what I'll do is I'll say visible on this desktop only okay and how much is this it's 180 all right same thing with this one okay now similarly as we have on the right and left we have something on the top as well that is only visible on the mobile so for that we'll again add another rectangle right so in say uh, sorry elements rectangle I will add the shape and for the mobile it's 48 pixels at the top so we'll simply first look for the 48 pixels let me change the color so we can clearly see the differences this to, to back okay so this is 48 pixels so let me zoom in if we see that 48 we have to figure out so that's 0 20 and then we have the this 20 and then 40 again a little bit more so 10 20 30 40 and then we have this is 50 right so a little bit more so we have that this is 45 and then this should be somewhere approximately that 48 right let me mark this as visible on mobile which is 48 and let me copy this or duplicate so I'll select and then click on duplicate and same thing at the bottom right so just drag and drop move it at the bottom so now this white area that you see okay let me move it to the back so the white area that you see is a safe zone for designing your Facebook cover photo so anything that you'll put in here uh, mostly the recommendation is that you put your text in the center and then the image that has the main content or main message that you want to show on the image on both mobile and desktop should lie in this white area that you see this is the safe area for designing your Facebook cover photo so now what we'll do is we'll just duplicate and then we'll start designing so how we are going to use this so let me remove all these elements that we created oh, sorry and we'll use the margins to basically figure out these areas the areas that are only visible on desktop and mobile and then we'll use the designing to design in the safe zone that is the white zone so to do that we'll simply go ahead to the files and click on settings and then show rulers and guides and now we'll measure that so if you just hover over in the left hand side you will see this little icon the arrow just start dragging and dropping just just left click and start dragging and dropping so you'll see that this ruler appears and which I can go ahead and drag and drop right so you'll see just left click you'll see that ruler is available here similarly we'll get another one so we'll just left scroll to the left hand side basically just hover over in the left hand side to the ruler left click and then keep your left mouse pressed and then in the right hand side drop that ruler okay so you'll see these two ruler survey available and then same thing at the top so to change that 48 pixels thing so you'll see that this is 48 right and then similarly we'll have another one for the bottom which is also so we have the 700 so 700 minus 48 is 652 oh, sorry this is 720 actually so this should be 672 okay right so now we have this white zone and that's where we'll start design right 
So first thing is to if you want to have a predefined design, you can use that. But then we'll go ahead and design from scratch. So we'll just fill the background. So to fill the background, we'll go ahead and search for the background. If you go to the design or simply go to the background, if you scroll down, you'll see the background. Click on the background and you'll see different backgrounds that are available. There'll be some paid, some premium ones, and most of them you, that you see here are free. Okay. So we'll We'll go ahead and search for the background and the theme color is blue so we'll simply search for the blue backgrounds and let's say I use this background sorry here so now we have the background now anything within this center is what we are going to design so I want to keep my photo in there and then some text so that is what we'll start using so in order to add the photo I have already had it uploaded so we'll see that if you go to the uploads I have this photo that I can straight away go ahead and use so we'll just keep this photo in this safe area so that it's visible on mobile and desktop both so we'll just change the size of the photo if you want to add some so I've added the photo let me flip it All right so flip a photo you can flip it horizontal or vertical so I'll flip it horizontally so I'm now facing the other side and let's edit few things within the photo so if you want to edit the color the contrast you see Simply click on the edit and you have different filters that you can use automatically to edit the photo or FX effects. So I'll go ahead and use the FX effect and I'll use the glow and within the glow you have the glow size and the blur amount. I don't want any blur say for example and the color I want to choose as yellow okay and then intensity to the max okay so or say let's say because this is darker background so white would also do good and if you want to increase the size say for example let's change it to the 20 okay so you'll see that I have the glow available on this photo right now I can type in anything that is in this safe zone so to type in anything or your Facebook cover page go to the text and from the text you can choose any default textiles or if you scroll down to the bottom you have the different premium text available and some of the free text available as well anything which doesn't have the crown icon is free so you can go ahead and search whatever suits best for your organization to choose or you can design or choose the fonts yourself so for example so for example I'll use this one this is free okay and we can then go ahead and change the color right so because the background is dark so we'll use a lighter background and we can change the background to even darker for example if you select this the background and then go to the background color palette here and then click on add new color you can add the new color from here itself or from the photo colors as well you can choose different colors so for example I do not want any design in there so I can choose default color from this photo colors okay but if you want to have the background for example many people have the photos in the background so you can also add the photos in the background of this page so I'll keep this as my default blue theme and then I'll say RCV Academy and let's resize it. right so you just drag and then in the left hand corner you'll see this icon as soon as you hover over your mouse and then you can drag and drop just left click drag and drop and reposition it into the center so that it's available minimize this photo a little bit so I have more space for the text and let's change the text color so I'll choose the text color and we'll keep it white so that appears pretty clear and then let's see what we had so you'll see educating for excellence making your job ready and then I won't keep any of these I mean if you want to have these elements as well for subscribing and uh, following these social media icon you can anyways have those in the safe area so let's add some of these as well so I'll just add more text there making your job ready all right and I want to have it the font little less 
or a smaller size so just select that and at the top you'll see that you can decrease the font size so i'll decrease it so that it fits in one line okay and then same thing with the rcv academy as well if you want to decrease the font size you can simply use these arrows to decrease or increase or simply from this drop down you can type in say for example i want this to be 80 and then this is more convenient now right so now some social media icons right so in the elements you can go ahead and search for those social media icons so for example subscribe so i'll say there are many premium ones which are the graphics so if i go to see all i should be able to get some of the free ones so you'll see these are the free ones absolutely fantastic to use and i can use this default you know subscribe one i'll resize and then use it below and you can reposition this text little above so that you have the space to add these icons so subscribe and then follow so i'll search for the follow element and then see what all free let's say followers so if you have the pro account anyways you can see there are a lot of premium ones but we are trying to find out the free one so let's use this one this is the blue color so we might have to change this to the color which this should be fine we have the dark background so this is little lighter blue and with the lighter text so it should work so let me move these little in the center of this save zone resize these and let's keep this design as is for now okay so you'll see that this is how this design looks now if you want to change few things on the photo so let me edit few things here as well so if i go to the filters here i can choose a little different filter and this is only if you have a specific need or you want to change i'm just showing you for example if i want to choose chroma or a little slate so you can go ahead and choose that if as soon as you choose say for example uh, filter then you can also change the intensity right so you'll see the intensity automatically you get the slider to change it and then if you are happy then we'll go ahead and download this and can use it on our Facebook let me add one more element which is like if I search for like share and subscribe let's see what comes up so say for example we'll use this one this is free so I'll just take that up resize it and have it here so like reposition these and have the share as well right so like share subscribe and follow so we have these share one so let's use a similar one which is share and resize it and then we have default youtube subscribe and then follow us so reposition and see that everything looks good and then your text maximize it a little bit reposition and that's it so once you're done you are happy with the design then simply to download click on share and then we'll go ahead and download and make sure that we just download the second one so we'll just choose this second page and click on done and download oh sorry it's downloading in mp4 so let me change it to because i don't want mp4 i just want to download the png all right so select the file type as png and then select the page page that we want to download so this is the page and then download okay let's see how it looks so you'll see this is how this looks now let me upload this onto the facebook page and show you how this will look so i've uploaded this as you can see and now this is the cover photo this is the one that i just uploaded now in order to reposition you can simply drag or use the arrow keys to reposition this so i'll simply select the photo and then we go ahead and reposition this a little bit right so you'll see at the top and bottom we can reposition accordingly but because we have designed this in the safe zone so this should be absolutely fine on the mobile device as well and this text and my photo that you see here should be visible on the desktop as well as on the mobile device so i have just repositioned it a little bit i'll go ahead and save and then this is the new cover photo that is visible so in the background this is pretty uh, simple background but you can play around with the background that you want to use but this is more or less how you are going to design the facebook cover photo which is safe to be displayed on the desktop and the mobile versions of the facebook page so that's all for this video i hope this was helpful thank you see you in the next one